Ms. Garvin, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what was it like running the Boston Marathon one year after the twin bombings? It was very emotional. There was definitely enhanced security, but nothing that made it seem scary. Um, but there was a feeling that we were running this for a different reason. You know, for runners, the Boston Marathon, it's so difficult to qualify. This isn't like other marathons where there's a lottery that you can get in or just anyone can sign up. Um, runners work years to run a race that is the qualifying time for that race and then they're able to enter. But this added more to it because this year they opened up the entries to all runners that weren't able to finish last year were allowed to join. In addition, runners that were injured in the bombings last year, families of victims, families of those that had been injured were there. You know, at one point I was I was not doing well at the end, I was really hurting, and there was a double amputee that was running alongside me. And I looked at him, I was thinking to myself, you, you gotta do this, you know? Yeah. I, he's trucking along and he is missing two legs. Um, you saw a lot more of that than other marathons I've been in. And the whole feel behind it, it was extremely emotional. It was awesome. So when 2.49 came along, did anyone acknowledge that time at all, or did the marathon just kind of we don't forget really about the, the bombings altogether? They, they didn't want to acknowledge that part of its history. That, you know, is, is that something to be honest, typical, Nick, I am not sure if anything was done at that specific time. I don't believe anything was. Um, I don't know that you necessarily want to dampen this year's race for other runners there was definitely a lot of remembrances and um no one forgot about the bombings last year but at the same time um i think everyone was looking forwards you know we're running a new race we're stronger we're back and we're going to not let this action ruin such a historic event. I mean, the Boston Marathon is world renowned. So you're not going to let a terrorist action disturb that or harm that. So at the end of the day, how far did you run in the marathon? How long did the marathon encompass after all was said and done? So um, I was very injured. So this took me quite a long time to finish. Um, I did a ran a 446 marathon. Um, so I started at in the second wave because I'm supposed to be fast. Started at 10:25, and I crossed four hours 46 minutes after that. So it was around four o'clock, maybe. Um, no, that doesn't make sense. Maybe three o'clock, something around there. Um, so, but I mean, you take the buses to the athletes' village at 7 a.m., and then you sit there for two hours and then you line up in your corral a half hour before your start time, and then you start. So it's, I was up at 5 a.m. and I stopped running at whatever time I stopped running. <laughs> All right, well, Ms. Garvin, congratulations. I see you have your medal. Thank you, I do. So great. All right, looks good. Thank you so much, Ms. Garvin. Thank you.